what's up guys welcome back so you have put in all of that effort into getting your target gma GRE score but you still didn't get your target score and you're wondering will i still get into my dream grad school will i still get into that mba program keep watching this video because today we'll be talking about all things low gma GRE score and how you can still get into your dream program with that low score hey guys welcome back to my channel um as you guys already know the gma gre test is an integral part of the mba or grad school application process and i shared a video recently about how you can ace the gmat and the gre but let's say somehow you didn't get your target score and you're wondering if you still get it seat in that program that's what we'll be talking about today we'll be discussing whether or not what really determines whether or not you get into that program with a low test score if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please consider subscribing now every week i share about my mba journey and also share a lot of tips that will help you get into your dream grad school also don't forget to click the notification bell right beside the subscribe button so you get notified when i drop these videos okay let's get started so the first thing we need to talk about is the source of this thing we call target score so we know or you should know that many grad school programs publish every year the average GMA, the average GRE, the average CGPA um, for the class they admitted the previous year. So that's kind of where most people get this idea of oh, what is my target score. So typically if the school had an average or a median um, G GRE or GMAT score of 700 then people try to aim for above that which is great so you're like at least 10 percent above the average but there's also something called the regional average or the regional median which is not quite published um widely by many schools and this is just if you're from africa versus you're from asia there might be different averages for those two continents or those two regions so you want to really try to know either by asking people or just checking from their reports um what the typical person or what the average score was from those continents and that might be different from where you are from so typically um for maybe asia the average might be 750 in gmat i'm just making up these numbers but maybe for sub-saharan africa it might be 700 so those two averages are very different so if you get above your regional average that is still very great go ahead and apply even though you got below the general median but you got above the median for your region go ahead and apply you still stand a very good chance to get into that program and to get scholarships but the problem is if you don't get anything close to um, your regional gmat or gre average then you need to consider some of the things that i will talk about in the rest of this video so the first strategy you need to consider if you have a low gmat or gre score is to focus on other aspects of your application and by this i mean like your um, recommendation letters or and also like your essays in your recommendation letter you want your recommenders to actually say something about maybe your analytical skills if your quant scores were pretty bad um you want to make sure they put in some of the projects you worked on that were more quant heavy um you want to focus on all those things so the admissions committee can see that even though you had a pretty low gmat gre score they can actually balance that out with the level of analytical skills you've developed in your career in your essay you want to also talk a lot about your professional achievements and this is in no way trying to brag but like you want to say some of the things you've achieved again like i mentioned in a couple other videos that i've done diversity is very important to this program so you want to show like some things you've done in your career some major highlights some really interesting um achievements that maybe a typical um maybe other people applying to the program may not have so you want to really demonstrate some of those things in your essay the second strategy i'll th i think you should consider is giving context so in your essay in you know there's usually this box for you to write to the admissions committee about any other issues you think hasn't been covered at all in the application process take advantage of that and say something about the context like what, why did you fail don't just you know of course this isn't making excuses but maybe it was a time it was the busiest time in your career maybe you 
lost a family member give context what happened um what happened why didn't why was that not a good time you know what changed between when you applied to write to take the test and when you took the test like the were there major family issues were there major um life life changes that happened to you was it the busiest time in your career was that when you were trying to get a promotion give context that really helps the admissions committee so these are the two main strategies if you had a pretty low GMAT score and you're trying to like spin it around and still get into that program so if none of those strategies I just shared really apply to you, maybe you there was nothing really happening, you just didn't like do well in the test, or you just don't have a lot of you know professional achievements that you, you, you already mentioned, then consider these other strategies as well. The first is try to maybe apply to another school with a lower median score. So apply to schools that instead of maybe 730 um, median score, have like 680 650 um just try to also like apply to those schools that's the first strategy you should consider the other thing you can consider is to apply to those schools that offer alternatives to this test so there are some schools that say like instead of submitting a gmat gre test score you can if you already have your cfa level three some say cfa level two then we you you can skip taking the gmat or the gre we don't need any of those standardized tests anymore just apply with your cfa that's another one um another option is also to retake the gmat or the gre next year try to just improve your score next year and increase your chances of getting into that program and just apply next year that is the third strategy really the final strategy is if you took gmat this year or you've been taking gmat and it looks like mm, you're not doing so well you're getting very low scores you need to try to um, maybe try another exam if you took GMAT already maybe the GRE is your you, you you do better in the GRE on the GRE so try to take the GRE prep test as well or the other way around if that's not a test you've already considered um, the next year so those are the main strategies for trying for getting into that top um, MBA program or grad school with a low test score strategies also really are really relevant if you have a low GPA and you're considering top grad programs try to consider some of these um, tips that I've given I hope you find this video helpful if you have any questions or comments that are really specific to your situation feel free to send me um, an email I will drop my email in the description box also please comment in the comment section below um, some of the questions you have what you think about some of these strategies and let's just have a conversation you know don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, follow me on Instagram. You know, let's be friends. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks for watching.